of the reasons we, we, we thought we'd do this acoustic today and uh, just have everything kind of unplugged but with a wee bit of help from the PA because um, you guys are going to be the first to know there's a gig at Buchanan Memorial Hall on the 18th of February Yay! Fuck yeah <laughs> Yours truly my special guest Bartok Finns will be playing. You can see Alistair Mulhern, the photographer, nodding in approval. Helen and Peter are mutual pals. Dreamt I was a hundred. I was only ninety-five. I was on the way to London town. So don't say fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Freya. Hi Aaron. Don't repeat what Papa says. Remember our secret. <laughs> Shit man, they're only two and four, you know. <laughs> I'm more worried about the dogs repeating me, to be honest. Actually, talking about repeating things, Dave Bayfield, that's, uh, that was an awesome second last song. That gig in Edinburgh. We had the Devil May Cares, my new album, by the way. You can get it over there. And uh, if you don't like streaming and downloading and shit like that. But uh, there was a whole bunch of UK dates and uh, they were all <laughs> pretty full up, except the Edinburgh one, which was like a complete utter. Well, no, what, it, it, you know, the funny thing is, as David alluded to, it was probably my favourite gig of the tour. There's only about 10 or 12 of them there, but it, it was it was brilliant. I loved it. The only other person was, there was a band in Glenrothes called the Newtown Grunts, <laughs> who wrote a song about 1990 called The Walking, Talking, Dave Arcadi Blues. <laughs> and it wasn't very positive. <laughs> anyway, this is about living here. I'd 
just for me In the shadow of the Falkline Hill Birds sing and the air is still Oh, it's the center Live like Joe Of the universe Oh, crazy, here comes trouble <laughs> now that makes me feel much better. Right, uh, what's happening now? Title track of the new album. You can buy the new album over there. <laughs> Fucking help, right? you, you never hear fuckers like Dougie McLean saying that, do you? You go to his gig and there's thousands of people and he never says you can buy my shit over there. But when it's like this and it's... I can maybe, I can maybe get away with that. You know? Why not? And why not? So, the title track of the album is called Devil May Care. And on... The recorded version, my good pal Chris McMullen from Northern Ireland duo The Bonvilles. Now, if you've not heard of The Bonvilles, fucking get right in there when you get home. The Bonvilles. They're fucking immense. We play a lot of shows together in Ireland. Chris is a great drummer and I thought, I think, his, I think he could add some drums to this. So I recorded a demo of it, sent it over there. He put some drums down and I... Anyway, the magic of the internet. So he played drums on this song and lifted it. So this is going to be a, maybe a slightly lacklustre version because there's no overdrive and there's no drums. It's just me. But anyway, the most important thing is that it's, uh, it's kind of about the whangy. Because when I was a wee kid, we've lived here for, what, 13 years, I think. And I've always loved this area. We, we, I grew up in Glasgow and my dad played golf at Buchanan Castle. I wasn't allowed because I couldn't hit a coup in the backside with a banjo. So, but he tried, but it was a ridiculous failure. And uh, Arthur, was it your auntie, Daisy? So after one hole, I would get sent to sit with Arthur's auntie, Daisy, in the starter's hut just down the road at Buchanan Castle. And... Uh, she was brilliant, because I could say fuck, and uh, <laughs> I would tell her all the dirty jokes I'd learned at school, and she laughed, and <laughs> she probably came home and said, there's this horrible wee brat comes and sits with me. Don't let him back in. Anyway, uh, so on the way out, every fucking Sunday, we'd say thing, we'd drive past the, past the whangy, my dad would go, oh son, that's the bang you then fucking mess like, oh that's the devil's pool pit. Oh, yeah, yeah, dad, God, I fucking heard it all before. But anyway, he told me how the devil was somebody had pissed it off at the black mass and it flew back and cracked its tail and the whangy appeared because it cracked its tail and the dog split and all that malarkey. So I thought that would be quite a good idea for a song, but I never ever really did anything with it. Until this album and ended up being the title track. It goes like this. The witches are waiting and the devil is flying high. The witches are waiting and the devil is flying high. Black mass is over. 
Thank you. 